Hey guys, coming to you today to talk a little bit about the Sinnoh Stone and which Pokemon are the best options to use it on. So here we go. Uh, first of all, the way that you can get the only way that you can get it right now is by getting your seven stamp and collecting it through your research breakthrough. Um, obviously, it would take a long time to get all of them that way. So Nantek has said that there will be more ways in the future whether it's through quests or uh, seventh day spin, maybe you'll be able to get them in gifts. But for right now, it's the only way. And as you noticed, I just collected mine. And my first choice was Electivire. Uh, according to Pokemon Go Hub, it is not the best choice, but it is my choice. It is still going to be a very good Pokemon. Um, I'm going to have to use a Charge TM to get wild charge which is very good move so it's not on par with Raikou but it's very close so that was about fifth on the list I think of these new Pokemon that can be evolved with the Xenostone and number one was uh, Weavile because as a ice attacker it is better than Lapras and Articuno um, not quite as good as Mammal Swine and Mewtwo with Ice Beam, but it's a very good option for an Ice Attacker. And the same for Dark. It has very good DPS. It's right on par with Tyranitar with Dark moves. So, again, if you don't have all these super powerful Pokemon like Tyranitar, you need to look at your secondary options for super effective Pokemon when you're doing a raid or gym battles. So, Weavile is going to be good for both options there. Now, the second one was Roserade. So, it is going to be a very good grass attacker. Um, it's not going to be as good as Venusaur, I think. But it is the best poison attacker. So, I don't, I'm not 100% sure what uh, you'd use poison for. But if you do need it, there it is as the best poison attacker. So that is going to be the second best option. Uh, the third was Rhyperior. Again, if you don't have Tyranitars with Smackdown, Rhyperior is the way to go for now, as it can get Smackdown, like I said. Um, but I wouldn't get too hyped about doing a whole bunch of Rhyperiors because Rampardos is supposed to be even better than Tyranitar. So for now, it's good to have them for raids and stuff, but just don't go too crazy there. Um, that's really the most useful ones. I mean, Togekiss, let's take a look. It is still going to be a very good fairy attacker. It's very close to Gardevoir. They will be able to get Dazzling Gleam and it can get a different hidden power. So um, different people might be able to get different hidden powers. So that's something to watch for which one your Togekiss can get. So that might be useful. But yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good for attacking and to drop in gems as well. So that's that's a good option. Uh, the rest were really not great for attacking, but well, actually, Porygon, Porygon Z actually does have a really high attack stat. I don't know if normal is really going to be super effective versus anything, but it does have a really high attack stat. And because it comes out of a 10k egg, that is seemingly somewhat the pattern for Community Day. Starter and then a 10k. Um, uh, hatch, so it could be eventually a community day. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, Gligar does evolve into Gliscor and that one. It did, I did see that it has a high defense. <clears throat> and so that one could be used as a, a gym dropper. See how that stacks up. 
But yeah, they're, the other ones really aren't that useful. But something you might want to consider is just keeping a few Sinnoh stones because you don't know that some of the ones they released, like Magnazone, Magnazone isn't out yet, so that might need a Sinnoh stone. Um, Lickitung evolves into Licky Licky, another one that could need it. Tangela evolves into tan growth. And like like I said, Pillow Swine does evolve into Mammoth Swine. So these are all Pokemon that could possibly need a Sinnoh Stone to evolve. Not 100% sure. But if you like one of those other Pokemon that haven't had their evolution out yet, you might want to consider just uh, saving a couple for the future. But again, do your favorites. If you like the shiny versions, do those. But uh, there's a couple of helpful tips about which ones are the most useful.